So recently, the god of the underworld, Jacob Sartorius, has released another song recently. It's titled... Sweatshop. Uh, sweatshirt. It's titled Sweatshirt. And funnily enough, Sweatshirt has become the number one most spammed song on CSGO servers. Now before I even begin this journey, I've got to address the elephant in the room. Leafy is here, has covered this song, with an amazingly well done video titled The Cringiest Kid in the Known Universe in Our Current Solar System, while the duration of a lunar eclipse is present for a duration of 23.4 seconds within the bounds- <laughs> Within the bounds of the ozone layer on planet Earth, YouTube. Just- just YouTube. Not on YouTube. Just the word YouTube. But anyways, bro army and reptilian army, put your seatbelts on because we're about to take a jump into a very, very cringe-filled experience. Alright, square root of 25 equals 5. So already you can see the main protagonist of this video, generic white boy number 375. Take note of that incredibly smug grin on his face. That's the smug grin of an individual that makes more revenue than your entire family combined. Actually, you know what, I I'm sorry, like, I'm supposed to react to this video, but I I've got to cut away from that for a second. We've got to have a little segue. We've got to talk about Jacob being a loser for about two minutes. <laughs> So for those that didn't know, Jacob Sartorius is a massive loser. I've actually had some very reliable informants tell me that Jacob has a birthmark on the back of his neck that spells loser. Hence why every time you see Jacob, he's facing the camera because if you were to turn around, you'd see the loser birthmark on the back of his neck. It's basically like the barcode that Agent 47 has, but... Uh, it's a lot more shit, really. No one wants loser on the back of their head. And if that wasn't evidence enough that Jacob is a bit of a loser, you can actually see him in public mistreating his die-hard fans. We had promised my friend I would get a video for her. So can you say, I love you, Eileen, Nia, Daniela, What, Eileen? Eileen, Jamie, Eileen, Jamie, Daniela. I'm so sorry, I can't remember that. What? Her with you. Okay. So what Jacob basically did there was, he couldn't be asked to learn the name of three to four girls and name them in a video, and he basically just walked off and this girl was left very annoyed. Now you could easily chalk this up as him just being very ignorant, but because it's the internet and everyone loves to overhype and fear monger like crazy, I'm gonna chalk this up as a hate crime. This was a blatant racist attack on a coloured individual. Shame on you, no, you know what, actually, I, I can't say that, I'll get fucking sued. It wasn't, it wasn't a hate crime. Square root of nine equals Javier. Gotta love all this male foreplay between each other, you know, it's not gay in any kind of sense. It's definitely not gonna be a full motion picture in a few upcoming months, you know. The growing relationship between two boys, worlds apart. There is an anything I call it now, placing bets. This is gonna become a Jacob Sartorius feature length film. Four equals two. I don't know who was hired to play the teacher, but you deserve at least seven Oscars. The amount of overacting and ham in your performance is absolutely godlike. Give this man every single award Hollywood has to offer. An absolute masterpiece performance. Two. Knock it off. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the entire classroom is just in an uproar of laughter. You know, every single individual in the entire classroom found that joke so show-stoppingly funny. Stop. Right, I've got to trail away from the song again and add another segue. Now we just got to talk about teen music videos in general.
Look, Jacob, right, I, I just gotta give you some criticism, all right? I mean, I'm not exactly allowed to stand on the soapbox here. My content is basically just devolved to the point where I'm mocking other people for YouTube revenue, which is honestly quite depressing. But with that said, this is the most generic teen breakout video I've ever seen in my entire life. You even have the bloom effect and lens flare to convey how happy the situation is. And on top of that, this video is pretty much a carbon copy ripoff of Justin Bieber's baby music video. You know, when Justin was trying to get a girl that he liked and keeps getting rejected and ignored. That's pretty much this video as well, just trying to get a girl that he likes. Now Jacob, if you were truly an original lyrical genius, instead of copying ridiculously famous people like Justin Bieber, you would have taken some notes from some underdogs in the music community. Like take for example your boy Max Harris, making great original content. Max Harris is solid proof that teen music videos are not oversaturated and originality can still be found. God bless you, Max Harris. You're a pilgrim of humanity. But anyways, with that amazing video on the side, we now unfortunately have to enter back into the realm of Jacob Sartorius. For my kiss, then you can wear my sweater. And you can tell your friends, we'll be together till the end. Don't you love how all these teen music videos always have that one gimmick, you know, they've either got a character, shitty stop motion with a sweatshirt moving around, or the holocaust. Okay, they probably don't have the holocaust, I haven't seen any music videos with the holocaust in them. But yeah, whoever directed this song, they were like, you know what we need? We need a gimmick, we need something that's gonna hook the kids in. What do we have? A fucking stop motion sweatshirt that just looks really out of place and awkward. Oh, no, add a sprinkle filter, a tumbler sprinkle filter as well. You know, like fairy lights that British vloggers have. Everyone will love it, it'll be great. Girl, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I wanna do is- I love how in this part you can just see two kids ganging up on the little kid. Like, that they'd never acknowledge this at any part in the video, that they totally avoid it. It's just like- Oh yeah, in school, we like to make it realistic, uh, kids bullying other kids, but you know, a happy environment, happy, yeah, we got, we got the bloom filter, Jacob Sartorius, yeah! Then you can wear my sweater, and you can tell your friends, we'll be together till the end, girl, you can wear my sweater. Oh, I'm pretty sure that that was a bad touch. I'm 99% sure that was a bad That was a bad touch. You got a friend in me. Strange in me. You got a friend. So in conclusion, is the Jacob Satoria sweatshirt the worst video on planet Earth? No, it's not the worst. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty far down there, definitely. You know, it's past the uh, the cesspool of normal content. It's pretty far below, but it's nowhere near the worst video on the internet. Of course, this video will never be on the same editing level as Max Harris, but still, you know, very few people can attain such a high level of quality. I wanna get high. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this life-changing documentary. Hopefully now you have some insight in the brain and mind of Jacob Zatorius. You can now look deep into his soul and see the misfortune of creating such a video like sweatshirt be sure to like the video if you enjoyed also subscribe you know sub for sub leave your youtube channel in the description down below and i'll uh, i'll subscribe to you I, I, I won't i won't i won't subscribe to you i i, I fuck <laughs>
Okay.